Hey everybody, welcome back for uh, video four on how to make the drawers for the uh, Ikea Idanis or Idanis. Um, so let's just go ahead. I've laid out some stuff here. The drawers come in one of the boxes, one of the three boxes. This is what the drawers look like. And those are the faces of the drawers. Um, and then these are the bottoms of the drawers. So I just have I just have one drawer laid out here on the ground, and I'll just go over how to put that together real quick. It's, they're pretty easy once you get the, the hang of it. <clears throat> so you want bag three. This is bag three. So I tore open bag three, and I got out one of one knob, and then one screw for the knob. And then three of these metal kind of hanger looking things. Only three. Three per drawer. And I'm just gonna set those aside for right now. Move this right here. And so what you want to do is you want to take these and unfold them. They're actually connected, which makes it nice. Get rid of the the cardboard that connects them. And then what they tell you to do is just lay them out. Oops, let me see here. Lay them out so this little ridge, this little uh, channel is facing up. There's no channel on the back side. So facing up, and then you take one of your, you take the bottom of your IKEA drawer, and on one side of it, there's a there's a ridge, like a, it's been, um, there's like a little indentation on one side and not on the other. So you wanna take that little indentation and flip it over, because this is, you want the decorative side up, and you're going to just lay it. You can't go straight in. You can't go straight in, it won't let you. So you just have to come in at an angle. And once you come in at an angle, it allows you to slip it in that channel and then come up with it. And now it's in the channel and it's kind of locked in there sort of. And then you just take your one side, swing it up, the other side, swing it up. Then it's just kind of like that for right now. Then you take your, your drawer, drawer face, and let's turn this around so you guys can see this. You take your drawer face and These little holes right here are for these nubbins, the four nubbins on the side right here. I think you guys can see that, yeah. And so these four go into these four holes, but you have to make sure that you have it located, uh, arranged in the correct direction. So the, the side of this board with all of these little tiny holes you want that to be facing up. So the, the holes are gonna be on the top. They're along the top as you put this on. So basically you have it located like, yeah, you, you have your drawer situated like this, get your face like that, the, the, the face of the, the drawer like this with, the, with the, the small holes away from the, the drawer and then you just go like this, lift up your drawer. You know, I'm gonna turn it sideways so you guys can see it. You lift up the drawer, just kind of like how you put the top on the Idonis. You put, make sure that these go in the holes and they're flush. Flush, perfect, they're flush on this side. 
See how they're, they're flush? And they're flush. And then all you have to do, all you have to do is take your drawer and gently, once they're, everything's pushed in all the way, just gently push down until you hear that kind of clunk. And your drawer is done, other than putting it on the hardware. Now, you're probably wondering, whoops, here's the uh, hardware. So the knob, that's pretty, that's gonna be pretty easy, self-explanatory. Uh, we'll do that, I'm gonna put the screw in there so I don't lose it. I'll do that in a second. But I wanna put these, I wanna put these, show you where these go, these little metal things. You basically just go into these holes and you press them in. And it keeps this bottom from coming up through when you put your pilot full of clothes. The bottom doesn't push through eventually. Like it did on my other IKEA dresser that I bought many years ago. So they fixed it. They've done a different design, which is nicer. So just stick that in there like that. You're good to go. And then, whoop, I guess I'm gonna need two knobs. I forgot that there was two knobs. So you take the screw, put it up and through. Screw on the knob. I just hold the screwdriver and screw the knob. It seems to be easier for me to do it that way. And then once it's tight, then I just use the screwdriver from the inside. Put on the other one. And they have a little bit of Loctite on them, which is kind of nice. So they're gonna make it so the uh, The screw doesn't come undone. The knob doesn't loosen up over time. At least that's the thought behind it. And it should work. Screw that on there. Grab my screwdriver. Turn the knob until it gets tightened. And then I use the screwdriver for the last little tightening. Now your drawer's done. Now, as far as putting the drawer into the dresser, move this over there. So you're probably wondering how to mount, how to actually put the drawer into the dresser. It doesn't require you to screw anything down or do anything like that. All you have to do, is pull out the sliders. And the sliders have a tiny little post right there and right there. See that little tiny post? And that post fits into that little hole on the bottom of the drawer on both sides. So the key of the game is just to get that, take your, uh, and there's on, also on the back of the drawers, you see how there's like a little cutaway. I don't wanna scratch it. There's like a little cutaway right here. At each side, there's a cutaway down here. And those fit over these kind of like a horse, you know, kind of straddling a horse there. And so you want to first gently put them in, make sure that those go over the, over the sliders. And you just make sure that 
You just kind of have to feel around. Once you'll feel the drawer go down, you'll feel the drawer fall down over that railing. And then you just pull the railing out and you'll hear it. You'll just kind of pull it out and you'll feel it kind of go down, sink down over that post and they're in. And then they close automatically. It's kind of nice, you just kind of let them touch and then they just kind of, they have this automatic closing feature. To get the drawer out, there's a couple plastic things. So you can get them out pretty easily too. You can take the drawer out. There's a, well, let me see if I can get it from this side. There's a tiny little plastic piece of, a white piece of plastic that holds it, keeps the drawer from coming out. All you have to do is push that in and then it lifts up, you can lift up on the drawer, but you have to push it in on both sides. So push in this side and then the same plastic piece on the right side. And then when you have those pushed in, it allow you to lift the drawer up and take it out if you ever need to remove the drawer to like, you know, to move the piece of furniture um, if you're moving. So there we go, guys. Hopefully that helped. Really easy to do. Every drawer is the same way, even the smaller ones up top. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So there are the two dressers. I actually have one dresser without the glass on it. So the glass top, I have the glass top kind of, yes, glass top is on it. It's not, it's not mounted to it yet. I haven't mounted the glass top, but one of my daughter's dressers is without the glass and one of them is with the glass. So I'm going to do a side by side. I'll do a, a real quick video side by side once they're all set up and I'll move them away from each other and then I'll just give you a, a side by side so you can tell, you can see whether or not you like it with the glass or without. So um, you guys have a good one. Good luck. It's not as hard as it seems. Bye.